Hello everyone, I'm Ronald Mehta and welcome back to our channel digiaid.com. We are your digital aid and we provide free courses on the subjects of business and marketing. Let's start with the art of packaging a product. Packaging a silent salesman. The process of designing and producing a product's wrapper or container is known as packaging. It is a procedure that results in the creation of more efficient and superior packaging. With the aid of packaging, a product becomes safer and more manageable. The first impression on a client is created by good packaging. It attracts customers and increases the likelihood that a consumer will buy the item. We will see how. Let's look at a case study here of Nike's one box packaging. Nike's one box packaging reduces packaging waste by half. Nike sneakers usually arrive on customer doorsteps boxed twice, similar to the normal shoe box but packed inside a larger shipping box. The Nike packaging team led by Rich Hastings took advantage of the opportunity for the 2020 Space Hippie release to create the one box, a shoe box that functions as both a mailer and minimizes waste. With a tear away tab that opens the shoe box, the clever design eliminates tape and waste. In fact, the inside of the box has an adhesive tape eliminating the need for any more sticky stuff in case of any returns. The one box unlike the Nike swoosh add-on version has a plain appearance. By design, it doesn't use bright orange paint on the outside, which Nike swooshes all over it. According to Nike, this white ink choice also saved them money by preventing more water from being used in printing. The one box described as a test project by Nike in contrast to the traditional packaging. Single online purchase of any shoe inside will result in a 51% reduction in waste according to Nike. Moving on to the advantages of packaging. First, it helps to prevent breakage, leakage and spoilage of goods. It protects the product from light, air and heat in order to preserve it. When transporting a product safely, it is both economically viable and safe. It establishes a positive image for your company while gaining consumer confidence, especially in the packaging of Apple products. And this is an effective selling method since it promotes sales of its items as well as increase in market share. This is the best in case of FMCG goods as supermarkets and hypermarkets. Moving on to some examples. First of Coca-Cola, the iconic bottle. Coca-Cola designed its curvy glass so that it could be distinguished by the people by its feel or by the looks when it lies broken on the ground or even when it is in the dark. It is now one of the most famous product shapes in the world. The other example is of Nike. Nike Air Max shoe was released many years ago. This shoe's old packaging used to be a brown cardboard box with an orange logo. As a strategy to attract more customers, Nike switched to more futuristic packaging. The shoe retailer hired a Berlin-based design agency called Scholz and Friends for the same. They gave the packaging a completely new look by creating a bubble-shaped package made of plastic, big enough to fit the shoes inside comfortably. This futuristic version of packaging gives the customer an impression of the shoe's floating mid-air. Moving on to the next example of Sony Walkman, the bottle Walkman. Sony commissioned a New Zealand-based advertising firm, Kraft FCB, to promote their Walkman Sports MP3 player. It was waterproof and featured an integrated everything. To demonstrate the product's waterproof capabilities, a vending machine was repurposed into a one-of-a-kind sales portal. It was designed to attract athletes looking for a waterproof music player. The bottle Walkman, for example, was available in all gyms around New Zealand from vending machines placed near neon blue gated bottles. Instead of selling the product in retail stores, they thought to place the product at places where the target audience hung out in reality. What a masterstroke! Moving on to labeling. Labels are used to provide information about the goods to its consumers. There is always a label on the product. Tags are another form of labeling that may be added to a product's package. They are also understood as the printed matter on the product package. Now labels are typically of three types. First, the brand label. The brand name will appear on the label. Second is a grade label that indicates the standard or quality of the product. And finally, the information label which gives out the product description, usage instructions, price, performance, manufacturing date or expiration date. Now when you design a label for your product packaging, keep in mind the following information. First, the product's manufacturer's name should be mentioned. Second, the place of manufacturer. Third, ingredients of the product. Directions to use of the product. Date of manufacturing expiry. Next, price of the product. Name of the brand. And finally, net quantity of contents. Moving on to products with famous packaging and labels. And they are Red Bull for its famous can, Starbucks for their cups, which are globally recognized, Ferro Rocher for its golden color packaging, Perrier for its green glass bottle, Kinder Joy for the X shaped packaging, which is a hit among kids, Kit Kat for its red packaging, easily identifiable in a supermarket, 
so is dairy milk for its purple packaging corona beer for its unique shape bottle and the color of the beer budweiser for the label and the sticker and the design of the bottle and finally marlboro cigarettes for its unique color packaging so that's it folks this brings an end to the topic on the art of packaging a product these are the list of sources and links referred to for our content in the video thank you and stay tuned for more videos